Good morning, world. Or, okay, I guess this isn't world. What's up, everyone? This is Nobody, and I'm playing Portal 2. No, I'm playing the original Portal. I'm not playing Portal 2. I don't have anyone to play that with me. But, uh, so I wanted to get an actual Let's Play out, and I decided to pick the only game that I've ever beaten in under an hour. So, let's beat this game in under an hour. Well, actually, that's not true, but this is the only... And again, welcome to the Aperture Science Computer Aided Admission Center. It's the GLaDOS. The detention in the relaxation vault has been a pleasant one. Your specimen has been processed, and we are now ready to begin the test proper. Before we start, however, keep in mind that although fun... Fun fact. ...and learning are the primary goals of all... This clock actually counts down until the game starts. may occur. For your own safety, and the safety of others... Please refrain from... Oh boy. The portal will open in three... Two... two one. one. And we're off! So this game is actually pretty short. There's only 19 quote-unquote chambers that you can go through. And most of the portals are pretty easy. Most of the portals. Most of the chambers are pretty easy. But, uh, so we're just gonna stick the cube on the block Excellent. for the- Excellent. Please proceed into the chamber lock after completing each test. First, however, note the incandescent particle field across the exit. This aperture science material emancipation grill will vaporize any unauthorized equipment that passes through it. For instance, the aperture science weighted storage cube. Yeah, if you take the cube through the blue grid, it phases. It's just its way of keeping you from doing certain things in certain rooms. Hey, look! Please place the weighted storage cube on the 1500 megawatt aperture science heavy duty super colliding super button. Super duty heavy colliding super button. I love this game, it's hilarious. Perfect. Please move quickly to the chamber lock, as the effects of prolonged exposure to the button are not part of this test. Also, supposedly the grid removes dental fillings. So I don't know how long this will take, maybe about an hour. And uh, the game's loading, it's not crashed, it's just loading. Hooray! Half-Life 2 sounds! Very well. Please be advised that a noticeable taste of blood is not part of any test protocol, but is an unintended side effect of the Aperture Science Material Emancipation Grip, which may, in semi-rare cases, emancipate dental fillings, crowns, tooth enamel, and teeth. So it may just take your entire teeth for funsies. Oh boy. And now we get to the first part of the game. The Very actual good. portal gun. You are now in possession of the Aperture Science handheld portal device. With it, you can create your own portals. These intradimensional gates have proven to be completely safe. The device, however, has not. Do not touch the operational end of the device. Do We're not gonna get rid of that friggin' radio. End of the device. Do not submerge the device in liquid, even partially. Most importantly, under no circumstances should you... That's right, shut the hell up. Goodbye, radio. You know, I rather do enjoy these games. Both of them. And it's funny, because puzzle games actually usually aren't my thing. I don't really like puzzle games. Portal was just one of those games that Please proceed to the chamber lock. Mind the gap. I just kind of picked up one day really randomly. I picked it up Oh god. I got the orange box well done. back in two thousand nine. Science bring your daughter to work was it eight? Is the perfect time to have her tested. I don't know, it was like ten years ago, so I got the orange box right around the time it like a year after it had come out. Uh, cause I was getting Gary's mods specifically to play with a friend of mine, and I remember I had checked Portal out, like, 
You're doing quite well. For ten minutes or so. And I didn't, uh, I, I, I didn't get it, so I didn't play it, but I don't remember. It was sometime that summer, I was just sitting in my room bored, and I decided, oh, hey, I have Portal. Why don't I actually try to beat it? Once again, excellent work. So I did. Of a required test protocol, we will not monitor the next test chamber. You will be entirely on your own. Good luck. And ever since then, I kind of... Portal was like the opening to Source games for me. It was the first Source game I beat. It was the first game in that collection I actually bothered to play. And after I beat Portal, I tried Team Fortress 2, and 500 hours of my life were gone. So. This was kind of my start to becoming a real, I guess what you would consider a modern PC gamer. Because before that, I spent all my time playing games like, oh god, Lego Racers and Lego Rock Raiders and... Oh god. Command and Conquer was one of those games that I played too. I spent a lot of time playing Command and Conquer Generals. But aside from that, I didn't do a lot of PC gaming. I was strictly consoles because I... Being the young kid I did, I thought, okay, so I'm gonna get whatever Nintendo has so I can play Mario, which I still do that to this day. I'm gonna get whatever big console is on the market at the moment that all my friends have so I can play with them. And then I'm just gonna have PC gaming to play those games that you can't find on consoles because apparently I'm the only person who likes these games you can't find on consoles. It's whatever. So, yeah. And to this day, I'm still kind of that way, only I have dropped the big console that all my friends have because I don't have any friends, so. It definitely makes my uh, As part of wallet a feel a little test bit better. Protocol, our previous statement suggesting that we would not monitor this chamber was an outright fabrication. Good job. As part of a required test protocol, we will stop enhancing the truth in three. Two. You know, GLaDOS is one of my favorite villains because well, the first time I played this, I thought that she was legitimately like just screwing up her dialogue and like there was a pro there was a little a legitimate a literal glitch in her system. And once you beat the game, I'm not going to spoil it now, but it becomes kind of it, okay. Safety is one of many enrichment center goals. The Aperture Science High Energy Pellet seen to the left of the chamber can and has caused permanent dis- Unbelievable. You. Subject name here. Must be the pride of. Subject Hong Kong here. I find it very hard to believe that anyone watching this video hasn't already played Portal, but if you are watching this and you haven't, I'm not going to spoil the ending. I'm just going to say it becomes a lot more questionable as to whether or not she is actually screwing up. Warning devices are required on all mobile equipment. However, alarms and flashing hazard lights have been found to agitate. Good. Now use the Aperture Science Unstationary Scaffold to reach the chamber lock. <laughs> unstationary Scaffold. Oh, uh, also the Aperture Science High Energy Pellet is just a, a AR-2 Half-Life 2 Rifle Alt Fire. It's a combine ball. Pretty sure most people who play these games know that too. There's a lot of reused assets and sounds and the entire game is built in the Source engine so they all play pretty similar. Within reason. I mean it's pretty obvious that Team Fortress 2 plays a hell of a lot different than like Half-Life or Portal, but mechanically the games aren't that different. At least in terms of... God, if you play a game on the Source Engine, you know what I'm talking about. Any contact with the chamber floor will result in an unsatisfactory mark on your official testing record. Bullshit! Good luck. If you've played a Source game, you know what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. 
Also, I'm not entirely sure how the combine ball, or the high energy science pellet, whatever. I'm not exactly sure how the combine ball works in this game because when it goes through a portal, I can't tell if it refreshes itself or not because after a while it'll explode, right? But I've had these things last for five minutes as they're constantly going through portals and I've had them explode relatively quickly after going through a portal. So I don't fucking radio. I don't really understand how they work entirely. Very impressive. Please note that any appearance of danger is merely a device to enhance your testing experience. Bullshit. Okay. Right about this point, it becomes subtly obvious that she's trying to kill us. Subtly obvious. Isn't that a bit of of a contradiction there. Huh. The enrichment center regrets to inform you that this next test is impossible. Right. To solve it. I want that radio. I'm not going to get the radio, but I want the radio. It needs to die. This one took me a minute. Unfortunately, I have a problem of being... Mm, what's the phrase? Fantastic. You remain resolute and resourceful in an atmosphere of extreme pessimism. I tend to overthink things. It becomes a little bit obvious later on down the road how much I overthink things. But, uh... I think after this next chamber, I'm going to call this video and uh, hope you join me for part two, but part two's not yet. Eh, you know what? I'll cut it here. See you in part two. Later, guys.